know, if you just do something really simple, but do it really well, that's all you need. No stags, no hens, no shot specials, none of those silly things you can get in your nightclubs and the chrome-plated bars selling lager to the nines. This is just a bit of good, honest English pubs, and by God, I think we're proud of it, and uh, I, like to, I like to stay by it. <laughs> Hey, I'm Patrick. And I'm Adam. And we're here in Newcastle, England, because we heard there's a lot of real ales here. In case you're not already familiar, Real Cask Ale is an unfiltered and unpasteurized beer that doesn't contain any additional nitrogen or nasty carbon dioxide pressure. And uh, I guess we're looking for the perfect pint. We're really doing God's work here, Patrick. All right, well, let's see how, how well this goes. So this is the Ship Inn. It's one of the oldest pubs in the country. And we're going to start here. How's it going? So uh, what, what are we trying today? Eels. Yeah, 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 some real ales. I've got a local... Shuggy boat. That's local colour coats. Okay. It's on the coast. Yeah. So we're talking about 10 mile. So next to Whitley Bay. Okay. Have you heard of Whitley Bay? No. Not no. really, no, sorry. No, no. Okay. This is even more local. This so is an out there brewery, which has made this really trendy these days, the Cascade hops and the, yeah, yeah. the American hops. Mm -hmm. That's the new thing hitting Newcastle. I think I'm going to try one of those just because it's so close. I'm going to say Shuggy Boat one more time. Yeah, you try that. The whole process of having real ales is more intensive, hence why a lot of late night bars, night clubs and things they wouldn't have them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come in a nine gallon Hager cast, about 72 pints. When it comes in, you have to put it on a rack, horizontal. The yeast has to drop for about 12 hours to 24 hours. So you, you rack it, but then you have to put a hole in the top, so you got to tap it. Rack it and tap it. Rack it and tap it. You've just fit couplings on the lagers. You've actually got to manually do it with the cask. I'm not going to wait for you. That's fine. No honor amongst thieves. It's all good. How is it? Oh, that's nice. And this is what, 3.8? That's a 3.8, so that's, that's a real good. So you can drink this all day. Yes. It's perfect, yeah. yeah. It's a good session, though. It is labor intensive, but that's a selling point, isn't it? Yeah. If you right. can do it right, yeah. And What's you're doing telling? something that a lot of people aren't doing, right? Yeah. Then it's a, everyone can do that, right? Exactly. It's telling that the more interesting beers require that. I think in Newcastle we support our own. Yeah. So it's moved completely away from the big national oh, wow, beers to the like lot more local, yeah, local ones. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Clang. Count one. All right. So we're two pints in. We're gonna go into a pub called Mr. Lynch, which is advertising a 1 a.m. license. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Lynch. <laughs> nice uh, couches. So you have a sign up front that brags about being the only 1am license. Why is that a quality that you need to advertise? Well, it's, it's actually 2am license. Oh, well. yeah. it's it's sign. one better. We like yeah. to surprise the customers. They think yeah. they're going to stay until 1. So and at 1, they're like, oh, should we get out of here? And you're like, nah. One more hour. Yeah, yeah you get a whole hour. <laughs> this looks nice. I think I might have fucked up. It's OK, man. You killed it on the last one. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right, cheers. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. Beers are a lot warmer in England. I don't you notice that? I don't agree with that. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> this one, here, feel how this one's real cold. Maybe this one's pretty cold. Oh, that's really, yeah. yeah. No, but feel mine. Yours is definitely a lot colder. Yeah, mine is way colder than yours. As experts, I think you and I can both agree that sometimes beers are colder. Sometimes, and sometimes they're, they're not. Right. But yeah, we did it. It's Nailed bar it. Bar two. <laughs> Number two. Yeah. Train station is beautiful, huh? How's it going? Hey, man. How are you? Right. So we're in a train station right, right now. I'm oh, I'm Patrick. Nice to meet you. How you doing, Adam? Yeah. Nice to see you. You, you, you got a lot of commuters here. Yeah, lots of girls. Thirsty? Lots of girls. Lots of girls. Okay. What cool. are the Newcastle girls like? Oh, nice. Yeah. All, all nice. nice. Great. All of them? Literally all of them. Uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a white hot while we're here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's white. That's a white hot. Oh yeah. This is interesting. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Clang. Thank you. Let's check out this beautiful space. Look at how high the ceilings are, it's incredible. Like, I love a high yeah. ceiling. <laughs> this this no, painting do. is pretty majestic. See, this also isn't a very cold beer. See, like, mine's just freezing. <laughs> mine's, no, I don't see, know. feel this. Yeah, I don't know if you've just been yeah. ordering the, the ones order that are kept like ones. not cold, but no. uh, I don't know, man. So it's, we're going to go chat with some like uh, real... Beer fans, I guess? <laughs> how you guys doing? Hey, how's it going? Oh, you spilled, this table's all wet. What happened here? What do you need to know if you're going to come to Newcastle to drink? If you're talking real eels, yeah, real eels, we we've been really talking real yeah, that, that, yeah. That's the real McCoy as opposed to, you know, like the national breweries, which of course turn out the normal 
what we call the fizz beer. Yeah. But if you want to enjoy a nice beer and enjoy it, then you go for your local. Good health. Yeah. I feel like right now I'm at this like sort of level of drunk where I'm within one or two pints things are going to get a little weird. Well that's exactly why we should probably consider thinking about contemplating eating something. <laughs> yeah, there's that big hole there. Oh, we're going in the big hole. Perfect. Yeah, right? You big guy? It's the second hole. Okay, second, second hole. hole. <laughs> second yeah. hole, guys. Yeah. As per usual, Careful. we figured the wrong hole. Green hole. Oh, there's the bridge. There we go, right oh, there. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that's why they call it the bridge of hell. Yeah, it's near the bridge. Hi, Ian. Hi, how are you? Right. How's it going? We're, so, uh, we, like we've a... been heading around the entire city today. Right. Uh, drinking a lot of different cast scales. Okay. It looks like none of the ones here are ones we've had. Yeah, so. I, don't, I don't recognize any of these. I think this Bee's Knees looks interesting. I was just going to recommend oh, them. There we go, same page. The, what is the Hobgoblin? Hobgoblin's dark. Let's do it. Millie, can you get the phone, please? We've I'll answer the phone if you want. We've yeah, what do we need? Do you want me to answer the phone? <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell me what to say. Yeah. yeah. I can answer it. I can answer it too. Though. He's got, he's, listen, I've seen this man answer sure. phones before. He's great I'm at it. I'm not sure who's on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, it's the pub. Oh, she yeah. got it already. All right. Like, uh, we've yeah. got scotch eggs, pork pies. Yeah, I think scotch, scotch eggs. eggs. How's that hobgoblin? It's uh, <laughs> warm. <laughs> no, <I didn't> <laughs> Mine's super cold in real life. There you go. Thank you. Scotch egg time. Definitely a bar food nailed. No, bar food in England is like fucking unstoppable. Oh, food is so good, you guys. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is satisfying every urge, most specifically my food one. Oh, is this a pork pie? Looks like a pork pie. Oh, bro, you gotta hand this. It's like better than a corn dog. Mm -hmm. That's a good pork pie. Let's gamble, bro. You, guy. Let's gamble. This is gonna pay for our ticket home. You got this. God damn it. Not even close. God damn it. Almost close. Oh, we're already we're already done. These are really hard. We've had Heading about to our second last pub of the night. Second pint of the night. I think we're going this way. Yeah, let's say it's this way. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're heading right now. We're heading to another pub. Oh, the Crown Posada, of course. Oh, of course, the Crown Posada. We knew that going in. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Do you want a drink first of all? Yeah, 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 but we'll do it. Uh... Black Bess is gone. Right, I've got to go change the barrel. <laughs> all right, do it. <laughs> right this way. A big misconception I get of people that uh, are new to English cast scale is they think it's room temperature. This is the cold room. Uh, it's a part downstairs in the pub that keeps uh, the cellar between about constant 10, 12 degrees Celsius. The beer's cold enough, so it's nice and refreshing, um, but it's warm enough, if you will, that it's got flavour and you can taste it. I mean, if you've ever had a glass of mass-produced lager, for example, I'll not name any brands, but I'm sure you can think of a few, you've got something that's so cold, it just totally obliterates your taste buds. It could be anything in that glass. If you took nail polish removal or petrol and took it down to that temperature, you'd probably find it fairly passable. How's yours? <laughs> Mine's good. Mine's good. How's yours? Yeah, great. It's a joy to work with the beer in this pub. Crown Masada is the oldest purpose-built pub in the town. For over 200 years, I take my job very, very seriously. If I was the man that didn't have the reputation of the Crown Masada in any way, I simply couldn't live with myself. So I've got to keep that bar high, and if I'm not happy with that barrel of beer, it doesn't seem my customers. I taste test the beer all the time. Hard job, but somebody's got to do it. It's a bit like a chef will be expected to taste his food. A good bar manager should be expected to taste his beer, especially the cask ale, I say, it's such a sensitive product. See how the water's got a bit of a tinge to it, a bit of a color. That's all the yeast uh, and bad product is still in the line. When have chemicals ever killed anybody? <laughs> I say, in theory, if I've done my job properly, it's just regular tap water. Uh, if I'm shitting my job, I'll die of liver failure. No worries. Survival of the fittest. This is a locally brewed bourbon milk stout. I've just cleaned the line, or I've done the taste test, and now here we have the finished product. Thank you very much. First pint of the barrel, sir. Right. Enjoy. Hollywood, here I come. <laughs> Pouring pints for the stars before we know it.
Now we're back outside the ship in where back... the whole thing started. And you know, you've, you've been with us this whole journey and it's fitting that while we were started here, we're gonna end here. here. Which is the Clooney, we've been hearing a lot about this pub. We've been here for 20 years, we've got two music venues, as well as the music, we're known for our great selection of local and national real ales. I think it would be a crazy switch up in the evening. Instead of having beers, let's have a beer here. Let's have a, let's have a beer. Uh, Can we get some real ale to go, please? Yeah. Uh, Two of the best real ale ever. Yeah, you lay it on us. You, you, the best yeah. real ale ever made. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm so in love that amazing. with everything that's happening right now. I love you. This must be how it feels when God-fearing people pretend they see God. And this must also be like when people who don't fear God see two pints, two pints of beer in yeah. a milk carton. Every civilized country should have this. And every uncivilized country should yeah. also have maybe a three-pint one. Yeah. Just to calm them down, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-oh. What'd you do, Pat? Uh-oh. Disturbing the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. we had a really great time in Newcastle. We've been to a everywhere from like a crazy and, uh, old man pub to like a crazy young man pub. Beer's tasty. Yeah. Real ales are the tastiest beer. Real ales are, if you don't, if you don't understand what the difference between a, a beer and a real ale, then you need to come to Newcastle right now. Yes. Get on Expedia, get on Hotwire. Stop blowing it. Stop blowing it. And start getting your beers to go. Grow up, it. basically. Yeah.